which does exactly the same thing. I've invested this much, so I may as well finish off, and it's not really alive anyway, so it's not really murder. Ah, but in return for them causing more of a nuisance than the other two predators, they give you colour pretty much equal to the amount it takes to kill them in the first place. Here I got amber, but usually you get gold or silver. I will ride you through this interdimensional portal. Ah, oh, it's going to be so confused. Once again, I can do naught but wait for the cycle to take by. Only time prevents me from succeeding in my quest. Although a new garden has opened itself. I'm just going to keep my gold in storage, since the only amount I have available is in that first garden. I don't think I have enough of a nervous stock to make full use of this new garden right now. It might be nice to have multiple sources ongoing, but I'm going to refrain from making repeat trips. For your viewing pleasure. Such that it is. You're almost depleted. You're dying. You don't have enough color inside you. You'll die as soon as you leave this chamber. But please allow me to take the time to keep myself alive. It's just as, if not even more important. Hang on a sec. There's my avatar. Well, I do think it suits him. Like a blue bow tie. The brothers will try to ravage your gardens. If you see one heading there, beat him to it and protect your investment. Try to find something you can use as a trap, like a spike of rock. If you animate it with color, it will turn into a formidable weapon. When the keeper enters the garden, the trap will wound him and chase him away. Oh, come on now. Didn't I just say I was relying on that? Montgolfier! As you can see, it drains into him quite slowly. The more there is, the longer it'll take, and he'll keep suckling away at it until it's completely dry. I could go up to him and talk to him about it. He'll say something on the lines of, We'll talk about what I've seen later, and you can't do anything to save it, so that's a complete loss. I know I said to be careful when jumping to conclusions about who is the threat in this place. But this is reason unknown to despise the brothers. There we go. Completely spent. It wasn't the biggest loss, but I should watch them really carefully from now on. His name is Pitt. Or maybe that's what he's called just after he leaves. Not sure. Ah, the camera didn't see that one coming. This here is Brother Caterpillar. It may be just me, but I can't be too scared of something that would be done for if it tripped and fell over. So there they are, flashing away, just to indicate the new ones. That one's come out of one of Ema's chambers, so look forward to seeing both of them. And Brother Pitt is somewhere out of view? No, that's not right. He's come out next to Ole's chamber, which is peculiar since she's supposed to be mine, in effect. She isn't supposed to have a brother at this stage. So either she's cheating on me somehow, or the chambers that the brothers reside in are not linked to the sisters that are near them. Which means I can't use that as an indication should I ever want to pair them up. In reality, it usually checks out. It's just that there are more brothers than there are sisters' chambers, so they have to slot them in somewhere. Riches will come to you soon. In any case, the brothers are really piling in now that the void has been jump-started. It's as if they're reducing my trial to some sort of spectator sport. They do have their own little council, so they have to assess what I do and form their own opinions on me but they're always overly willing to build up an air of mystery. To that effect, it may be a while until we hear from them, but rest assured we will hear a piece from every single one when they feel the time is right. Fear death. There is no death. It looks like you're ready to face the Mantid now. Maybe that's what he wanted from you. Maybe. That's not an answer. She's just speculating herself. Is she suggesting that Mansid set this up so that he would be able to face me? 
I mean, it's feasible that he has full control over Uta. Since he is her brother, he could have forced her to give me the heart somehow? Well, I'm sure I'll find out when I see him. Yeah, definitely. The game wouldn't keep me in the dark about something that significant. I mean, this quest has pretty much governed everything I've done over the last few cycles. I'm sure I can expect at least a cursory resolution. Anyway, while I wait for that, right now I'm trying to show off something. It's happened every single other time I've played this part, but it doesn't seem to be happening now. Wow, even something like that is down entirely to chance. I'm actually quite surprised myself. Well, sod it. It's just a minor thing, there'll be plenty of other opportunities. I suppose it's to be expected, or the subterfuge? Even the game was bound to start lying to me at some point. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just got something in my throat. My lips are a little dry. I'm gonna go to this garden next. Stock it all up in time for the next cycle. I just got some nice rooms of silver, so I'm gonna pass those through and make sure I plant them. As well as that, I'm also planning on going to Mantid's chamber and having a chat, like the sister told me to. So in order to get to there, I need to give Uta her first heart. Can't believe I haven't done that yet. So the silver and the emerald that I've still got lying around will help out with that. I'll refrain from using up the violet for a reason you'll see in just a second. Now when this chamber has been hit by some crimson and violet, very random, very lucky. Silver that I've just acquired is supposed to help with random events. It is the colour of luck. I don't see how it can help in cases like this. It doesn't know where I need to go next, so it doesn't know where to put it. I don't pay much attention to it when there are more important things to worry over. You know, I think that was changed at some point, since it just says that in the journal. If you use it, it actually says frost. It freezes your colour and makes it have less effect, but I don't know what to think anymore. It's all lies! Wait, Golden Eyes. I'll teach you. Open your soul and show me your hearts. The fireflies have come to life. Sprouts are appearing, and all because of you. You bring life like a vernal sun. Remember how the tree above my grave came to life when you approached. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. The void is forgiven. Anyway, you may have noticed the little thing buzzing around, all cute and such. It is my favourite source of colour, which we'll be investigating in a second after I finish picking up any stray sprigs around here. Usually it appears in the Fireflies Reservation, but I've bypassed it this time, so we'll see plenty more later on. Sister Death was a bit rude. Ava did start speaking first, so I'll lend her an ear. See? Each color grants you its gift. One will protect you. Another grants you luck. And the third makes you a formidable foe. The more of a color you have in one of your hearts, the stronger its gift will shine, and the stronger that ability will be in you. But only while that color is in your body. My favorite, Violet, gives inspiration. Before you give color to a tree in the gardens, fill yourself with Violet. You'll need much less color to wake it completely. A decent summary of what we know so far. Violet works like trust, except on trees instead of sisters. I don't have all that much, but I suspect the firefly is holding a little bit extra. As you see, when it approaches me, or I approach it, it runs away instantly. For some reason the game waits until the second time you see them to tell you that you can donate colour to the open air, which will release a globule for it to feed on. Ah, oh, that's a fantastic sound. Just wait until you see several of them doing it in unison. For some reason, the noises that these fireflies made did not exist in the Russian version, so they really missed out. 